you. Thank you very much again, Prime Minister, for inviting me to be a part of Leadership Matters. It's always a pleasure to be here and to be able to share with the persons viewing and listening. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the good people of St. Christopher Three for lending me your vote on June 5th, as I would have asked, and giving me the opportunity to serve as your representative in Parliament. It was indeed a pleasure today as I went through the constituency providing the young persons with their Christmas gifts and treats and being able to meet with families. You always welcome me warmly. You have done it from the very beginning and you continue to do so. And that's why I always am willing to give to be of service to you and will continue to do so. I also want to thank the staff of the ministries which I have the privilege to lead and that is the Ministry of Health and the Ministries of Information and Communications Technologies, Entrepreneurship, Entertainment and Talent Development. The staff, everyone have welcomed me and have been, been very good support over the past six months and I am truly grateful to be able to be working with such a great team of individuals to all of our frontline workers, nurses, doctors and even the police officers. I want to thank you for the hard work that you continue to do. In terms of the police officers, we've been asking you to go beyond just securing us and we've been asking you to operate in a new norm. Some of the times asking you to police us as we continue to work towards saving lives and we thank you for the work that you continue to do. So I would also like to thank ZIZ as well and the team at ZIZ. You guys work extremely hard, always willing to do whatever you can to make sure that the people of St. Kitts and Nevis are kept informed and up to date. At this time again, I want to take the opportunity to remind persons the protocols are in place for a reason. And as you celebrate the season, we want you to celebrate it in a new norm, remembering always to wear your mask, to wash your hands, to, to social distancing, and just be able to make sure you keep yourselves, your families, your communities safe. It is about saving lives. Once we're able to save lives, then livelihoods will be maintained. Livelihoods would be able to be saved as well. And so we want persons to focus right now on saving lives as we have been doing. The task force have been doing an incredible job in being able to make sure that we are safe and we have to do our part. All of society approach is what worked so thus far and we have to continue on that same path. Like Queenie J said, we're all in this together and once we continue to remember that we're doing this together, then we'll be able to get through this together as well. As the Prime, like just like the Prime Minister, I too am optimistic about 2021. I do believe we'll be able to get past COVID-19 and once we do that, then we'll be able to see our economy continue to flourish and grow. We were on a path just before COVID-19 and I am optimistic that we will go, we'll get back to that path that we were on and maybe even surpass it. And finally, I just want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Remember the reason for the season. God sent his only son to save us and he lived a life of service and an example that we need to follow. We need to be able to remember service to others just as much as we think about ourselves. We need to remember at this time to give. And as the Deputy Prime Minister said, it's not always, it doesn't always have to be monetary. We can give of our time. We could just give a listening ear to someone and it means so much to them. And so take the opportunity to see how, how you can be of service to someone else in small ways, in large ways. It doesn't matter just as long as you're serving others and being the being you using the example of Jesus Christ and the way that he lived on earth. This is the time when he was born, so it's an opportunity for us to reflect on his life and to be able to make sure that we too are living up to what he would have expected us to. And so with those few words I say, a very, very Merry Christmas to everyone viewing. I look forward to seeing you in 2021. I look forward to being here with you in 2021 as we continue to share with you what our team unity government continues to bring to St. Kitts and Nevis and where we plan to take St. Kitts and Nevis in 2021 and beyond. So Merry Christmas to everyone.